Hey everyone, what is up? Tim here, back again for Droid Life, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Oxygen OS based on Android 9. This is Beta 1 of Android Pi. So essentially, this is what is going to roll out to users once OnePlus says, okay, this is totally official, all the bugs have been squashed, and we're ready for everyone to get this onto their devices. Uh, but again, again, it is a beta, so you can expect a few bugs here and there, but OnePlus gave us a large change log uh, for everything that's new in here. So um, to give you a brief overview, you will find the new navigation features, you'll find the new gaming mode 3.0, and we're also going to be talking about how to install it on the device because OnePlus makes it extremely easy uh, to run these new builds, running the latest version of Android, of course, with those Oxygen OS tweaks on top. So there is a lot to cover. We're just going to dive right into it. Uh, the first big thing is all the navigation hoobla. And essentially, uh, as you can see right now, I am running the, um, I believe this is OnePlus's version of their navigation navigational gestures. And so... Uh, if you head into the settings menu here and under buttons and gestures and then navigation bar and gestures, yeah, so you're going to find all these different options. So what we have here, the back home recents, that I guess is what we're calling the old school uh, way to navigate an Android device. Of course, you've got your dedicated home, back, and recent apps buttons. Uh, but now you have the back and home, which is Google's version of the new gesture navigation and of course you can tap on that to get home you can um, hold it of course for google assistant you can swipe up on it to go to your recent apps and then sort of drag that around uh it, i am not even close to being used to using that uh, i still just use the uh the old school navigation you know it, it works just fine for me uh but and then, of course, down here on the bottom, navigation gestures, that is OnePlus's version of gesture navigation. And so, thankfully, they have a nice little introduction here uh, with a few tabs. But uh, so for home, you have no no buttons on the bottom, as you can see. And, and of course, we've gone over this already, but I'll give you a quick demonstration. Uh, if you swipe up, you go home. If you uh, swipe up and hold, you get your recent apps and you can just scroll through those X amount, whatever. Um, if you're, say, inside of an app or already inside of a menu here in the settings, you can just swipe quickly on the left or the right side to go back. And then that's about it. Let's say your phone is in landscape mode. It's the same thing. You're going to swipe from the right side or left side, whichever, uh, to get back home. You're going to swipe on the, the, the part that's not the notification bar. All right, let me just clarify that. Um, so that's all the navigational stuff. Uh, again, thankfully, they, they kind of walk you through all that so you can get used to it. I will say, uh, you know, I'm trying to use it, and it's definitely not the, the worst thing ever. You know, th this navigational gestures, uh, these navigational gestures have been around for quite some time now. I mean, not forever, but it takes some getting used to but you know after a few days of using it it just sort of becomes second nature and i especially like that you know they're you know not having the dedicated back button when you're already in an app let's say instagram you're on someone's you know you're, you're ghosting somebody you can just quickly kind of just easily m navigate the ui so definitely a nice touch um as i said uh gaming mode 3.0 is also made available in this android pie beta build oxygen os beta one it's very uh, very confusing uh, numerically, but uh, to find all that, you're going to scroll into Utilities, and under Utilities, you will see Gaming Mode. Uh, now, a few of these options were already available. However, they uh, did add a few more. Um, notifications for third-party calls, I believe, is one of them, but all, you already have in there uh, answer calls via speaker, disable auto brightness, uh, network boost, and so you can add games to this manually. Um, so right here I've got Chameleon, Galaxy of Heroes, Altos Odyssey, and you can just add more apps. Um, you can even add apps that aren't games if you uh, really want to take your you know Snapchat to the next level and <laughs> consider it a game. That's uh, totally fine. Uh, other things that OnePlus included in its change log was the um, sort of an updated do not disturb mode. And basically what that is is, is do not disturb, but it uh, has a scheduler thing. Yeah, that's a good one to have. And then also, they talk about the integrated OnePlus customization features. And uh, so so that just means you've got themes, uh, 
and you can choose between colorful, light, dark, etc. Uh, but you can also have your accent color, and you can access that accent color by either having light or dark. So let's just say I go with that light theme, and I can change up my accent color. Uh, accent color to a variety of colors uh, brown blue red I, I'm actually quite uh, fond of the red and the white theme so I'm gonna go with that show you what that looks like very nice and so now what you have is your settings menu is nice white and red as well as your uh, system toggles up here in the no notification pull down and to go if um, if you never ran the developer builds of Android P on the OnePlus 6, uh, you'll know this notification pull down, this toggle has looked this way ever since the first developer build with these circular icons and how they change colors uh, whenever you um, enable toggle them on or off. So very nice. Um, they have added uh, the text notification mode uh, for the gaming mode 3.0 as well as the yeah the notification for third par uh, party calls. Now. Uh, that's about it for what's new. Now, keep in mind, uh, OnePlus does list a few bugs for this. They say uh, that a known issue is that Google Pay service is not working. I know Google Pay and NFC payments are very important for some of you, so keep in mind, Google Pay not working, at least right now. And then they also say that the Google Play Store will show that this device is not certified by Google. Um, I haven't run into any issues because of, uh, because of that. Sometimes you'll see maybe an app isn't uh, able to be installed or something, but I haven't really run into any issue like that. So with all that out of the way, again, I mean, it's not that big uh, of a jump, at least from the developer builds. If you're already running a developer build, then this is going to be sort of an incremental update and you're going to be used to most of this. Uh, however, if you're jumping from Oreo to this you'll probably fall in love with the phone all over again it's a fantastic device um you'll have the the android p gesture navigation you'll have plus with all that oxygen os goodness based on top of it so a very good update and what's so nice with oneplus is that they make it uh, make it incredibly easy uh, to flash this android p build onto your phone and to do that you're just going to i will we'll throw a link down in the description and so from that link on your device follow it and you'll download the uh, the zip package that includes this update it's about 1.5 gigs keep that in mind make sure you have enough storage on your phone so when you uh, download it, open up like a file manager app and take that, uh, that file, that zip file from your, say, SD card, your downloads folder, wherever it downloaded to, put it on the root, the base of your storage, your inter internal storage on the device. And then you're going to uh, go to about phone, or no, excuse me, you're going to go to system and then scroll down and then at the bottom there of system system updates and then so in the top right here you're going to see a little gear icon click on the gear and then you're going to press local upgrade and so when the zip file is on your the base the the root of your storage you're going to see it right here uh, one plus six oxygen 22 OTA etc etc you're going to tap on that and you're going to hit install now the phone will then uh, download not download but uh, uh, install the OS uh, behind the scenes so you can still use your phone while it's going no problem at all when it's done it takes about 10 15 minutes when it's done you can reboot the phone um, I didn't need a wipe I would suggest if you're coming from a much earlier build let's say uh, Oreo or anything like that or maybe even one of the dev builds I would suggest maybe wiping your device but it's not completely necessary at least according to oneplus and i haven't run into any issues yet so you just hit install now the phone will install it uh, reboot and you're going to be good to go you're going to be running that android pi 9.0 sweetness and then yeah, that's about it for the uh, the oneplus 6 running android 9 um we'll definitely be kind of diving more into it uh, now that we're done with the galaxy note 9 Probably gonna have to switch back to the OnePlus Six until, of course, the those new Pixel devices and all the all the good stuff that's coming later this year. But if you found anything that we didn't go over or that wasn't listed, maybe in OnePlus's official change log, feel free to shoot it down in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, run into any problems installing this, feel free to let us know. We'll try and help you out. And until then, we're Droid Life. Peace.